Supporters pouring into the streets of Dakar to welcome a new Gambian president, some wearing clothes bearing the image of Adama Baro, others waving a framed photograph. Witnessing what the citizens of the West African nation couldn't see for themselves, one of the most democratic transitions in their country, the swearing in of a new leader, not in Gambia, but inside its embassy in neighboring Senegal. This is the day that we have been waiting for a very long time to have changes in the Gambia. So uh, I'm very happy and I'm very overwhelmed and uh, excited. And uh, this is a new chapter of Gambia. In Gambia, late into the night, festivities continued. These amateur images of local residents celebrating alongside military personnel showed no signs of the flux the country faces. With Barrow in Dakar and the former leader Yahya Jama firmly at the helm, a military operation got underway on Thursday. Senegal sent air, land and sea forces into Gambia after diplomatic talks failed. The nation is acting on behalf of West African bloc ECOWAS, which includes 7,000 troops. These efforts are backed by the UN Security Council as well as the US. But within hours, and in a last-ditch effort, they gave JAMA until Friday to cede power or resume military operations. Meanwhile, thousands have fled Gambia in recent days amid the deepening political crisis.